Kofi Cockburn is a big get for the Illini, literally. He's seven feet tall, weighs nearly 300 pounds. Our Brett Barons went to Virginia today to talk with Cockburn about his long journey from Jamaica to Champaign. Kofi Cockburn admits he never saw himself here. Being isolated in like the middle of nowhere. The run up the Western Virginia hillside used to be a requirement. Now the seven foot, 295 pound Illini basketball commit does it on his own multiple times a week. All worth it? Yeah, definitely. Cockburn is trying to make the most out of his short time left here at Oak Hill Academy in Mouth of Wilson, Virginia. He's got a little more than a month before he graduates from the nationally renowned prep school. He'll enroll at Illinois in June, and it will be another chapter in what's been a long road for the Kingston, Jamaican native. That's where he grew up before moving to New York City four years ago. Like growing up in Jamaica, I never really played basketball a lot. I just played around like in the parks with my brother and stuff when they, when they played. So like me hearing that like four years ago, hearing that I could get the opportunity to come to the U.S., play basketball on the bigger stage, I mean, it was really a shock to me. Cockburn's mom, Dorothy, helped ease that transition. She moved to the States nearly a decade ago, leaving her five kids behind to work as a nurse, sending money back home to Jamaica to help pay the bills. So I decided to move here to come live with my mom, you know, make, make, make life better for us. Because like, in, like Jamaica, like life wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. And my mom moving here really helped a lot. Kofi's bond with his mom and his family grew even stronger when his dad passed away two and a half years ago, just a few months after he moved to the U.S. You know, I was really close to him. You know, he taught me a lot growing up. Not, not about basketball, but like just about being a man. You know, since I was younger, he'd been teaching me how to be a man and. Like I really love it. I, I appreciate him, and he was always there for me. Through it all, Cockburn decided to leave his family just a year after his father's passing, enrolling at Oak Hill. Going from New York City to an unincorporated town in the middle of nowhere was just what the highly touted recruit needed. I always had heard stories about it, but like just being here and like experiencing everything, it was really like crazy. Like, wow, it's really nothing out here. There was too many distractions in New York, you know, it's, it was way too much things, things to do. And I needed to focus more on school and basketball. And that's exactly what Cockburn has done. He's cut 20 plus pounds and is in the best shape of his life. He scored 13 and a half points per game this season, leading the team in rebounds, blocks and dunks. My downfall was like my motor. People always like question my motor and everything. I feel like I came to Oakland and I really worked on that. So right now I see myself being like that person that's going to bring energy to the team at all time. That's going to pick us up on defense, you know, and have the opportunity to score if I score it. So I'm just like a good overall big man. It's a welcome sight for the Illini. Cockburn is the second highest rated center to commit since the recruiting ranking era started in 2000, only behind Myers Leonard. And he could provide a big piece of the puzzle as the team tries to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in six years. Reporting in Mouth of Wilson, Virginia, for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports.